Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these two semicircles confined inside this quarter circle, as you can see in this diagram. And moreover, these two semicircles are tangent to each other at this point. And furthermore, the radius for this quarter circle is 8 units and the center for this uh, larger semicircle is A, and the center for this uh, smaller semicircle is B. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we can see. We know that the radius for this uh, quarter circle is 8. That means this whole length EC is 8 units. So therefore uh, this radius CD is going to be 8 units as well. And now let's focus on this uh, larger semicircle. And we can see that this is the radius of this uh, semicircle. And we can see that this is going to be the half of this uh, 8. So that means this is going to be 4 units. So therefore, the radius for this uh, larger semicircle is going to be 4 units. And finally, let's assume that the radius for this uh, smaller semicircle is lowercase r. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of uh, this uh, quarter circle first. And now let's recall the area of the circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where r represents the radius. And we know that the radius for this uh, quarter circle is uh, 8 units. So therefore the area for this quarter circle is going to be pi r in our case is 8 square and since we are dealing with this quarter so we are going to divide this whole thing by 4 and now we know that 8 square is 64 so therefore we are going to get 64 pi divided by 4 that means this is going to be equal to 16 pi and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, larger semicircle, this one. And we know its uh, radius is 4 units. So therefore, the area for this uh, semicircle is going to be pi times r in our case is 4 whole square. Since we are dealing with this semicircle, so we have got to divide it by 2. And now we know that 4 square is 16. So therefore we are going to get 16 pi divided by 2 and that is going to give us 8 pi. And finally the area for this smaller semicircle is going to be simply pi times its radius is lowercase r. And then we are going to divide it by 2 since we are dealing with the semicircle. And now let's go ahead and make some observations. We can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of this whole quarter circle minus the area of this uh, larger semicircle and uh, this uh, area of this uh, smaller semicircle as well, as you can see in this uh, equation. And as far as this area of this quarter circle is concerned, we already figured it out. It is 16 pi for the area for this uh, larger semicircle is 8 pi. And the area for this uh, smaller semicircle is pi r squared divided by 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So the area for this uh, green shaded region is going to be equal to 16 pi minus 8 pi and then minus pi r square divided by 2. Let's go ahead and combine these like terms that is going to give us 8 pi minus pi r square divided by 2. 
So therefore, the area of this green shaded region turns out to be 8 pi minus pi r square divided by 2. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 1. And now our task is to find the value of this lowercase r. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect these points A and B. That means we are going to draw a line, a straight line between these centers A and B. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And as a result, we got this right triangle ACB. Now we can see that this whole length EC is 8 units. And this length EB is lowercase r. So therefore, this distance BC is going to be simply 8 minus r. And now we can see that this uh, distance is lowercase r and this uh, distance is 4 since these are the radii of uh, these semicircles respectively. So therefore this whole distance uh, AB is going to be the sum of these r and 4. So I can write this is going to be r plus Four. And now since we are dealing with this uh, right triangle ACB, therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and uh, call this longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and I'm going to call this side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 4. So this is going to become 4 square plus b in our case is 8 minus r whole square and c in our case is r plus 4 whole square. Now let's simplify. So 4 square is 16 plus and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply on this part. Therefore, this could be simplified. 8 square is 64 minus 16 r plus r square equals to. And now let's recall another identity a plus b whole square. We are going to apply it on the right hand side. So therefore, we are going to get r square plus 8 r plus 16 and now we can see this 16 and this 16 is gone r square on this side and r square on the right hand side they are gone as well so therefore we are ended up with the 64 minus 16 r on the left hand side equals to 8 r on the right hand side let's go ahead and move this uh, negative 16 r to the right hand side so therefore we are going to have 64 equal to 8r plus 16r. Let's add these uh, like terms. So that is going to give us uh, 24r equal to 64. Now let's divide both sides by 24. This is gone. So therefore our radius lowercase r turns out to be equal to if we reduce the right hand side that is going to give us 8 divided by 3. So our radius r turns out to be equal to 8 divided by 3. And here's our final step. We already figured out our r value. We are going to plug it in in this equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So wherever we see r, I am going to replace it by this value. So therefore, the area of this green shaded region is going to be 8 pi minus pi divided by 2 times I'm going to replace r by 8 divided by 3 whole square. So this is going to give us 8 pi minus over here this has become 8 square divided by 9. So I can write this thing pi divided by 2 times 64 divided by 9. If we simplify furthermore that is going to give us 8 pi minus 32 pi divided by 9. And now I have simplified this whole thing over here on the right hand side and this turns out to be 40 
pi divided by 9. So therefore the area for this uh, green shaded region turns out to be equal to 40 pi divided by 9. And if we plug it in this uh, pi value, then our this area is going to be approximately equal to 13.96. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be approximately equal to 13.96 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.